We continue our talk about the restaurant business now with the CEO of a company that has a nationwide food network. Andy Lansing is the owner of Levy Restaurants, which operates in more than 100 facilities, including ballparks, stadiums, convention centers, and individual restaurants. He joins us now on, on set. Andy, good to have you here. Thank you. First of all, you know, we know attendance is down to some of the ballparks and stuff. I'm curious, first of all, how that's impacting you. We also talk about the slowdown in the economy. Are you seeing an impact in your restaurants? Well, we're actually seeing a, an increase in uh, spending at stadiums and arenas now. Uh, people seem to want to spend. Companies are willing to spend a little bit more now, certainly not back to the levels they were before. Companies, you say. So is it the corporate market you mostly play into? The corporate market and the skyboxes and the stadium clubs backtrack during the economy uh, difficulties. They are now starting to come back. Uh, of course, the, the regular consumer and the, and the general concessions um, have been spending and are going to continue to spend. Uh, the biggest predictor of success to us is tell me how the team's playing and I'll tell you how much people are spending. That makes a big difference. Big difference. Hey, and the fare that you guys have, it's not your usual fare. I know you brought some samples in, in studio and everybody's kind of salivating over them, but uh, it's not just your... Uh, hot dogs and uh, chips and sodas there. I mean, it's some pretty upscale stuff. Um, commodity costs, we've seen them back down a little bit, but how is that kind of impacting, overall though, they've had a big move up this year. Um, how is that impacting margins for you guys? Or can you pass the costs all on to your customers, especially if you're talking about sky boxes and corporate customers? Yeah, we don't try to pass the entire cost on at all. I mean, so I you think, have to eat some of it. Yeah, and, and I think we manage it really, really well, and we're able to do some things to mitigate uh, some of the inflation, the food inflation that we're seeing. What are the, highest, what are the two highest commodity costs for you guys, though? Uh, yeah, they, they, they vary. Um, wheat has been high for us. Dairy has been high for us. I mean, we spend a lot of money in, um, in, in all different areas. So, Do you do anything to hedge those costs? I'm just curious. Not really. Uh, you know, we get out there and we purchase in a big consortium with, uh, with a large food co-op. Right. So we buy in bulk. Um, and we'll go out and forward contracts in some respects, but not, uh, not to any great degree. Just got a few seconds here, Andy. So give me an, uh, an idea of the outlook for your business, especially when we have some concerns about the, uh, the uh, economic outlook and, and companies maybe getting a little bit nervous here. Well, I, I think we're, we're, um, we're excited about the, the, the future. The only thing that worries us right now is the NFL lockout and the potential NBA work stoppage, which clearly would hit in our sweet spot in the business. Uh, we think consumers are ready to spend. Those are the things we have our eyes on so right now. So the NFL lockout. Good and watch that one. Andy, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Andy Lansing, he is the CEO of Levy's Restaurants. Now